What's up guys, in this video, you will be building a Wi-Fi printing server with me using a Raspberry Pi. But before I move on to anything else, let's roll some B-roll clip. And yeah, so this is a printer that I got earlier this year. So this printer doesn't carry any Wi-Fi features. So this is the reason being I'm doing this video just to actually build a Wi-Fi printing server for my printer. And the device I'll be using today will be the Raspberry Pi WH. And you can use any model actually that has Wi-Fi built in, especially the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, but today I'll be using this because it's so small and it's so easy to actually configure it. Well, I actually got this Raspberry Pi uh, in the early of the year but I just couldn't got the chance to actually make this video. But today I'm sick of using USB's uh, printer, so let's do this. But before anything else, of course we're gonna need some add-ons to actually flash the software into this Raspberry Pi. First, we're gonna need an SD card and an SD card reader. And of course, the very first step of this uh, setup would be formatting your SD card so here's me installing or flashing a software image into my SD card. I'll be using the light version of Raspberry Pi OS. And for this setup, I'll be setting up with a wired keyboard. And in order to work with a wired keyboard, I need an adapter, uh, which is a USB-A to a micro USB adapter. So we got power, we got uh, USB in, we got the HDMI working right now. So we're going to set up some Linux commands. Uh, I hope I still remember it. And after a few hours, I actually got it working. We can actually see RPI printer, which is the name I set earlier on in my network. And we let's try, let's try to print something. I'm actually in my living room right now and the printer is actually in my office. Let's just hope it works. Yeah, as you can see, it is actually printing. So the next step I'll be doing is that I'll be unplugging my printer so that I can stick the Raspberry Pi at the back of this printer. Well, the plan is actually to use one power source to actually power up the Raspberry Pi. Well, I'm going to be opening up the back of the printer to actually expose uh, what power source is actually using. After some tries, I actually got the cover off and we can actually see it is actually 22 volt DC. Well, as we all know, Raspberry Pi is actually running at 5 volt as the power. So I'm going to be using some bot converter that is going to convert the higher voltage to a lower voltage that will actually suitable for Raspberry Pi to power up. So after a few research, I found that the LM model is actually working. So that now we're going to be soldering the some wires onto it. But I have no idea how to actually uh, read this. It doesn't have like an LCD screen or like a, a reader. So I'm going to be using a multi-reader or a multimeter. And here is me soldering a wire onto the pins. Well, as you know, it's running uh, 22 volt, but there's three pins output. So the first pin would be 22 volt. I'll be using that pin with the crown. So now, right now it's actually plugged in and it's actually running at about 13 volt. 
so that I know I want to adjust to a lower volt. Now it's 5 volt, we can actually use it. So the next step I was doing is actually figuring out the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. So I actually figure out which is the power and which is the ground pins. So after a few research, I found the red and black pins, which is the first three pins. So I'll be connecting some wires onto it from the bulk converter. Well, after some tries, I actually plug in the HDMI to actually try if it works. It actually worked. I'm pretty happy with the result and I've got some case laying around in office so that I'm putting up some case to actually protect it from, you know. So this case is looking good. I'm just gonna plug in everything back. So I actually sorted some wire here so that the printer and the Raspberry Pi could share the pole source. Well, after a few tries, I actually got the wire to actually smoothly fit in the case and it's time to screw it back in. So the next step is actually me uh, figuring out how to tape this Raspberry Pi so that the slider will actually work when I want to keep this printer. As for the wiring, I'll just be using some zip ties because I just figure out uh, that this printer is gonna sit is actually gonna sit at the side on my desk, and this wire is just gonna stay out of sight. But on and all, we're gonna test this out, and guess what? It's actually working. And now I have a fully working Wi-Fi printer so that I don't need to plug in USB anymore. I'm glad this turned out so well. I used roughly two days to actually finish this project. And here's me just putting back the printer to its original position. But before anything, consider subscribing to my channel so that I can make more stuff like this and sharing some educational programmings yeah i guess i'll see you in the next video